The number one takeaway based on warm sea surface temperatures and trends towards the La Nina pattern, we could possibly see a very active upcoming hurricane season. In fact, Dr. Phil Klotzbach from Colorado State University says this is the highest forecast they've ever issued in the month of April. We are forecasting an extremely um, or, or most active April seasonal forecast on record. The reason why we're going um, so aggressively this April is because the conditions look extremely conducive. Also, I think we have uh, better model guidance now than we say did the last time we were issuing forecasts this high, which is about 10 years ago. Still the number one question, what does that mean for Southeast Texas? During Dr. Klotzbach's presentation, he showed a probability of 54% for the Texas coastline, which is higher than average. La Nina tends to favor storm formations in the Western Atlantic Caribbean becomes more conducive, tends to storms also tend to be a little bit more straight moving. Uh, so that also increases the impacts for the Western part of the Atlantic Basin. Jeff Lindner from the Harris County Flood Control District is also here and he thinks Houston Galveston residents have let their guard down because it's been a while since a severe tropical event. The biggest concern we face right now is complacency. Uh, we really haven't had any significant weather events um, really since Harvey. Hurricane season begins June 1st with storms typically ramping up off the coast of Africa around August 20th, but every season is different and forecasts are just that forecasts. They could change, but after three days of full presentations from our national agencies, I've learned a lot to better serve our community and to keep you weather smart here in South Padre. I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft back to you.